Hi, I'm Allie with Infragistics. Today we'll take a look at some basic scenarios you'll encounter when using Infragistics Test Automation Suite for IBM. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to do some simple recording, replaying, and data verification. We can use Visual Studio 2010 to generate vb.net script, or we can use the Eclipse IDE to generate test projects with Java code. We'll be using Visual Studio in today's video, but everything we're doing in this demo can be done using the Eclipse IDE. Let's start by creating a new project, selecting the functional test project template, and press OK. Once the project is created, we can get started by simply clicking the record function of the test script. Then we choose to record the functional test script. You can leave everything as the default and click Finish. This will start the recording wizard. RFT is ready for recording. We can start by starting the application that we would like to test if it hasn't already been started. In this demo, I'll be using the sample application that's shipped with the test automation product. Once the application is started, we'll record a couple of actions. Let's expand this scroll bar and select an employee. You can see that each interaction I make with the controls is being recorded in an easy to follow, easy to read text. I'm going to select an order by double clicking that and then I have the three products in that order. Now let's add a couple of verification points starting with the products list. Let's choose to perform data verification. There are a couple different items we can use, and each of these verification points have different results. When the items are listed in this order, it's better to use the item's property. You can see the products are listed here. And for each one, we have the different properties. Including text, value, visibility, and selection. We'll add this by clicking the finish button. And let's add another verification point on a different control. this time on the exporter bar. This time, we want to verify that the selected group text is employees. One final verification point is on the ribbon. And you'll notice that we can either do a verification on the entire ribbon or a specific item tool. Let's do this on the pop-up tool. Next, we would like to do the item's property in this case. But instead of verifying everything, we will only verify the Office 2007 view. So let's deselect everything and instead select these items. You can see that the selected is blue, and that's true. Black is selected to equal false because we're using the blue theme here. Silver is also selected as false. You can check or uncheck properties depending on if you would like them to be verified, and you can play back or not. Let's stop recording here. You'll notice that the recorded script is already there. and we can play it back by simply clicking Playback. But one thing that's always good to do is to reset the application to the state it was in when we started recording. This example starts by starting the app so we have to close it so we don't end up with duplicate windows of the same app. So now I'm going to restart the playback. 
and the playback agent is now going to take care of replaying each action and running the verification. Once it's done, it's going to show the test results. And as you can see, we have three verification points with no failure, and everything has played back as expected. So there you have it. In just a few short minutes, you learned how to record, replay, and verify your data. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the latest news and videos from Infragistics. We'll see you next time.